Alright, so I'm going to go over a quick little tip that a lot of people don't know, and this can potentially destroy your drone to the point where you cannot even repair it. This is a, uh, this is a easy thing that could happen to anyone accidentally, especially if you're doing a lot of, you know, maneuvers in the air, and it's called a combination stick command. Now what that is, is when you're starting the motors, you can either pull this way, or you could push down like that and what it's going to do is it's going to start or stop the motors when you're on the ground now if we go into the air and we run this same command the drone will literally fly out of the sky straight to the ground and crash this uh... the reason they put this in the drone is say it, for some reason it has a mind of its own or you know something's going on where the drone needs to stop right away it needs to uh... It, you know it, you don't there's a like you're about to crash into a building or something or for whatever reason you need to just get the drone out of the air this is what it is it's basically a kill switch for the drone so make sure you do not attempt this and I'm gonna show you basically here's what happens so uh, I already showed you on the ground you, you know how to start the motors now if you're in the air and you do the same maneuver right now we're at we're at a uh, 57 feet on the simulator and this simulator is a good way to practice to know your limits of what exactly is a uh, what you know what you're capable of before actually uh, executing this maneuver so we're just gonna do one right now boom and as you see falls right out of the sky and that's it and your drone is done so that's one that's uh... one right there let's get it back off the ground so you could be let's say you're lowering the drone and you're turning it not happening boom once those once those both uh once you hit the most outer edge on these RC sticks your drone's done and i've seen a lot of people they're uh they're like oh my my drone fell out of the sky i don't know what happened blah 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 and then you look at the logs and guess what they did they performed that maneuver and they didn't even know now a lot now uh DJI doesn't even put this they don't even they should put it honestly when you open the box it should be there should be a sticker that says do not perform this maneuver and it should honestly it should tell you right when you open the box because a lot of people have already lost their investment over doing this simple maneuver and just not reading the manual which you should have done anyway uh, a lot of irresponsible people are getting their hands on these and they just you know they get it out of the box and and uh... you know they, it's pretty straightforward it's easy to fly but the people don't know that this simple maneuver will crash the drone there it goes again and you can either do it you can execute it by that or by pulling them both down like that now um, here's a theory I have that this can be recoverable if you do if you say you accidentally do it but you know that you did attempt it um, let's take this uh, let's take it up to 400 feet real quick now I don't know if this is actually uh, I, I of course I don't have the balls to test this to test this in real life because I don't want to I don't want to crash my drone but if I did have unlimited uh, money I would but uh, okay so we're at 393 feet right where it tops out at 400 what I'm gonna do is execute the command and then start the motors back up because you can right after you execute it you can start them back up and uh, I want to see if I can save myself so. All right, we're dropping altitude, re-enabled, and full throttle up. Boom. So we let so from 400 feet down to 34 feet. That's how long. That's how that's that's how much altitude we dropped just to uh, just to save this. Now, will this happen? Well, can you save it in real life? I don't think so. It depends of the orientation of the drone when it falls. If it falls perfectly, you know, just. Psh yeah I think you'll be able to save it no problem but these uh... you know it's not uh... it's not gonna glide down or anything like that it's just gonna drop out of the sky like a rock and with the simulator it looks like it just falls uh... perfectly so you can save it on the simulator but in real life I don't think uh... I don't think at all you'd be able to save it but just a uh... just a theory I haven't tested it yet so just make sure you're uh... I recommend you start up the simulator yourself you know, I don't care if you have one hour or a hundred hours. You've probably, uh, you should probably just go in here and test out what's your limits of what what stick commands can you do, and what what basically how far can you push your uh, your sticks before it it uh, 
before it stops the motors. There it goes again. So just make sure uh, you pop in the simulator, try it out, crash the uh, the simulated drone, and not your own, because a lot of people are making these things drop out of the sky. And in an emergency situation where you know something's going on with the drone, it's taking off or anything like that, this stick this stick command, no matter what it's doing, returning to home or anything, say it's returning to home. And you have it, and you set your uh, altitude incorrectly, and it's about to hit a tree or something. You would execute the command and uh, drop it out of the sky, or it's going to hit a building or someone's houses, or you know you have a liability that's going to happen. You at least can. Uh, this, I mean, it's it's uh, you know, it'll basically give you full control to stop the drone in the air, and get it on the ground. Um, so that's pretty much it. And uh, like I said, test it out and uh, don't actually perform this on your drone so that's it real uh, real basic tip but a lot of people don't know and they're destroying their drones so that's pretty much it